Well, tomorrow is election day for Progreso's special election. Voters will decide who will be the next mayor and a council member place two. Here's a sample ballot you can take a look at. The candidates for council member place two are Dago Trevino and Sandra Estrada. Uh, the candidates for mayor are Raul Martinez and Hugo Gamboa. And former mayor Jerry Alanis resigned following his arrest on federal drug trafficking charges. You can cast your ballot at the Family Community Center. And there's also a runoff election happening tomorrow in Palmview. The voters are electing a council member place one. The candidates are Javier Ramirez and Ezequiel Ortiz Jr. And residents can vote at the Palmview Recreation Center in the main lobby. And it's been a decade since the city of Progreso made arrangements to have Hidalgo County run its elections. Now the elections department would be in charge of everything that includes paying the poll workers, setting up the voting machines and publishing the results. Progreso just had to pay for the services, but the city never did. When Mayor Jerry Alanis was forced to resign earlier this year again because he was arrested on federal drug trafficking charges, uh, the city asked the county to handle a special election. The elections department first asked the city to pay the $26,000 that it already owed and the mayoral candidates want the bills paid. I'm hoping it's not an oversight. It's something, it's, it's a serious concern for us, right? Because if this is going on, what else is going on? No, no one has ever uh, mentioned that invoice and uh, well, let's go back and we know that there hasn't been an election so that I'm guessing that's why it never brought up. Both are making assurances to pay the outstanding balance if elected, and Progreso recently paid more than $9,000 toward the bill, but it still owes more than $16,000, and that's not counting the fees for tomorrow's special election. And UTRGV police are looking for the people who broke into an off-campus facility. Details are limited, but police received reports of a burglary at the Duck Head building happen, happen, that happened Wednesday evening. rather. And no items were reported stolen, but the group forced their way into the building, causing damages. And police say that they currently have no leads. But if you happen to have any information, you're urged to call UTRGV police. I have your sunrise view for you. Not a lot of color left in the sky. The sun is officially up. The next week and a half to two weeks is going to look like this, of course, until we have rain in the way. Um, but we are uh, still barreling towards that longest day of the year. So we're going to get lots of sunshine for the next few days. Um, this is what it looks like outside right now. The only rain I see is on the coast. It's fizzling out very quickly. Just be mindful if you're going to be out that way. You might want to cross a little shower. I can't rule out uh, some isolated heavier downpours, but all in all, today is not the day we're concerned about, right? That's going to be next week. So, of course, be safe today. Father's Day two days away. Then we've got Juneteenth summer and then the 4th of July. So lots of holidays coming up real quick uh, heading into next week, and then we'll have a little break before the 4th of July. 20% chance for those showers throughout today, 20% tomorrow, 30% Sunday for Father's Day. Mondays when we start dealing with all the tropical stuff, so make sure you tune back in for the midday and our evening shows today and this weekend to make sure you're updated with the most recent information. Let's take a quick look outside traffic as well. This is in the uh, Mercedes Westco area. I actually don't see a lot of cars out there. Y'all get up, go to work. I know it's Friday. Hopefully some people are uh, going to be enjoying maybe a long weekend heading into Father's Day. Uh, make those outdoor plans. If you do have outdoor plans over the next two to three days, I think you're going to be good. Just as always, when thunder roars, go indoors. Uh, don't risk it if you're outside and, and you see lightning. That means it's time to head inside for 15, 20 minutes. Wait until it passes before it's safe to go back outside. It's Monday when we start to see those really high rain chances. Remember next week we could see upwards of five inches of rain. So again, tune back in for the latest information, you guys. Thunder not roaring yet, but my stomach is. I'm going to have breakfast. <laughs> Jessica, thank you so much, and thank you for tuning in. We'll see you back here soon at midday.